We're with Jeremy Yeager here in the pits at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds with the sewer rat. Give us a background as to how long you've been pulling. Oh, we've been pulling this truck for about two years. Prior to that, we pulled gas trucks. Um, so we've been having a lot of fun trying to chase the OSTPA trail. Uh, pretty much focus on that. Hit a few hit and miss local fair pools. But Give us a, a little idea as a difference between what you're pulling now and the gas truck you pulled before. Okay, well, obviously this is a turbocharged diesel engine. It's a Duramax engine. It's a uh, production engine made by GM. Uh, it's a little bit bigger on the cubic inches, mm -hmm. and we're limited to a three-inch smooth bore turbocharger. That's what keeps the class, um, that's the, the limiting factor in the class, basically. Uh, How much weight will you be pulling today? Uh, that varies, probably about 38,000 pounds. Okay, have you had a chance to go out and walk the track at all, get an idea of what to expect? Not yet. We uh, actually were changing the tune-up in the truck. We didn't do very good last night. Uh, we lost some fuel pressure, so we're trying to get things worked out, and hopefully we come out in a little better position tonight. Is there an advantage to going out and looking at the track beforehand? Because I guess every track's a little bit different. There is. Um, it, three o'clock in the afternoon not so much when the pool's not going to start till five mm -hmm. uh, ideally you'll go out and check the track right before your class starts uh, maybe at the start of the pool and then again after the the classes that are running ahead of you are finished okay and then you just probe the track try and find the hard spots and the soft spots and you know uh, and pick your path all right with mike burton here at the montgomery county fairgrounds the diesel class is going to be featured this week here on motorsports mania give us an idea of what our viewers can expect uh, well all of our trucks are all diesels of course we all have open drive line we run like a 3.0 uh, turbocharger mm -hmm. and uh, they're all supposed to be uh, one ton or smaller trucks with dot tires how long have you been pulling oh geez uh, about 20 years now oh, 20 years yes do you take the opportunity to go out and walk the track just to kind of see Absolutely. what it's like? We probe, we probe the track, we check it out beforehand and everything right up until we're ready to go on the track. Will it be a floating finish? Yeah, we're always pretty much floating finish. We don't want to have any uh, pull-offs or anything like that because we don't have any coolant in our motors or anything like that. So they're all solid, basically. What do you do to prepare a truck for a pull? Lots of time. <laughs> uh -huh. Lots of winter time. Uh, all winter long we work on it, basically, and then... Uh, week of the pool well we've got three straight right now so we're on a three day straight uh, schedule right now we're off for two days and then three more okay so we got to keep everything running what about the tires do you do anything what kind of tires do you run well, with back here you have to run a dot tire most people are probably running 35 inch tall tires and uh, we're not allowed to alter alter them in any way
nice pass way down by the Duramax. I tell you, fans, I really got to bring on the wheels on that truck this time going down the track. And if you'll notice, they all were spinning hard and they're all throwing the same amount of dirt. The nice thing there is that tells the puller when he sees this on tape, he's actually got even drawdown on all four tires. That's what they strive for. But Tom's going to move into that number one spot right now. 303 and 7. 303.75. Absolutely 
longer up. Very strong competition. 
Mike Burke's going to shake up the leaderboard a little bit. His hits is 322.58 to 22.58. Mike Burke is going to